This is Troy Hawk, and this video will show how to add background color to a website using CSS, Cascade Style Sheets. Right now we have background color, as you can see, but uh, it is uh, through the body tag. So what we want to do is move it out of the body tag and into Cascade Style Sheet. Well, uh, first thing we can do is go to the body tag and delete uh, what we have in there and once it's uh, gone click on your design uh, side to clear it out uh, then go back to your body tag and insert the cursor uh, do your space bar actually what we can do uh, if we want to use cascade style sheet is just uh, as you hover over the body tag right click it and then you'll see the drop down box in your drop down box select CSS styles and then another drop down box will open up uh, you can click on new so now you have uh, this uh, new CSS rule box so we're going to create a new CSS rule for the body tag um, for the selector type click on this and then in the drop down box we're going to do this for the body tag so we click on tag uh, we see that the name shows up because we've already selected it and you will go down to the area that says rule definitions where you will choose the rule to be defined well click on that and eventually we're gonna do a new file new style sheet file but before we do that um, don't select anything there just click OK and another box will open up asking you which category do you want to create a rule for well it is the background color that we were wanting to create that rule for so you click on that and then go in and select the background color that you are looking for so uh, let's say that we wanted to insert uh, this color here this orange looking color and we would just click on apply and then OK so now we see that this color is in the background it's not in the back body tag anymore so here's our body tag but what uh, Dreamweaver did create is a style sheet tag a style tag so right here Dreamweaver inserted this style tag and um, <clears throat> it's telling the style tag is telling that we want to format the body so we formatted the body with background color and then you know the the color that we selected the hexadecimal uh, code that represents that color is there so this is just one way we can do the uh, uh, this is another way that we can do um, or insert background color into our website and the next video I will show how to create an actual new file so that um, if you have let's say for example you have many pages um, you're a business and you have uh, you know 500 pages that you want to change background color on um, <clears throat> you know given that all of your pages have the same color uh, you want to be able to do that without going to each one of those pages so uh, in this case you know, we'll create a new file in the next uh, video and this will show you how to add a background color in that new file that will be able to change your uh, the, your background color in all of your pages by using uh, a link tag.